Hi, my name is Chad Weiss. I'm an aquatic biologist with the Mille Lacs Band Department of Natural Resources. And we're here today with our department boat. And uh, we're gonna show you what this new piece of equipment at uh, the Shabushkung Access can do. It's a waterless cleaning station. So we have a few different uh, set of tools here from a vacuum to a grabber, a uh, plug wrench to take the plug out of your boat, a brush to scrub any uh, dirt or debris off the side of your boat, and then an air hose to get any water out of those hard to reach places. So first we'll start with uh, the vacuum and we're gonna use this to suck water out of our live well. Turn the vacuum on right here. There it's suctioning. All the water that's left in there from the lake. The vacuum, there is a um, drum inside of here that the water gets stored in. And we will hopefully later this summer, if not next summer, we'll be testing the water that's in that drum for uh, zebra mussels, spiny water flea, possibly starry stonewort, which is a new invasive. Um, so we'll be able to take that water, figure out um, the number of you know, AIS that this system is taking out of the lake based on the concentration and hopefully certain times of the year that it's more imperative to clean your boat. So say there's a higher concentration in July or August than there was in May or June, you know that those times of the year, it's really important that you take the necessary precautions to clean your boat. For the grabber, if you see any weeds or debris on, on your trailer underneath your boat, you can use this to reach under and grab them so you don't have to crawl under there and get wet. And it looks like we have some right here. So there. And then some of these tools are on retractable hose reels. So they go right back into place. It is Minnesota state law to remove your plug from your boat. So we'll take the plug wrench. Loosen up the plug and take that out. Scrub brush. If you have any weeds on the side of your boat or debris that you want to get scrubbed off, the brush would be a good option for that or the trailer. Also for the blower, push the button. You can use this to uh, blow water out of your motor, especially right here where the prop is. That's a good spot. So this is uh, powered with batteries, which are charged with a solar panel that sits up on top of the unit. Um, so that solar panel will charge the batteries and keep the batteries charged throughout the day. It's also connected to uh, wirelessly to Wi-Fi. So the number that each tool is used, how full the drum is in here, everything will get sent to uh, the cloud, I guess. And then I can go on my computer, I can look at all of that information if a tool is not being used or the drum is getting full, I will get an email notification sent to me saying this tool hasn't been used in a certain amount of time. Something may be wrong. You should probably go down and take a look at it. And then we'll come down and you know see if any tools are missing or the drum is full or something's not working correctly, then we can fix it. The purpose of this unit is to um, help prevent invasive species from entering Mille Lacs. I, ideally, we would like to see boaters use this before they put their boat in the water, but more than likely, it's going to prevent invasive species from leaving Mille Lacs. Boaters are gonna pull up here when they're done taking their boat out of the water and use these tools to, um, to clean their boat. There are zebra mussels, spiny water flea, and um, Eurasian milfoil. Starry, I mentioned starry stonewort before. That is a new one, kind of 
moving across the state that um, that's our next one that we're that we're worried about and that is that's a uh, aquatic plant just like uh, Eurasian milfoil. Is that in Mille Lacs right now? No it is not currently in Mille Lacs okay. that we know of. Awesome. So this unit came from Mille Lacs County. They used AIS grant funds to buy the unit. Uh, Mille Lacs Band DNR uh, agreed to operate and maintain the unit. Um, and then the Minnesota Parks and Trails also allowed us to place a unit here at the access since this is a state-owned access. Now, this unit is stationary, sits on a cement pad, but the Mille Lacs Band DNR just received a grant, AIS grant through the BIA to purchase two portable units. So hopefully you guys will be seeing a lot more of these around the lake. Our hope is to have them up and going by next spring so that uh, during spring harvest we can bring them to landings and band members can use them uh, on their equipment and their boats and we'll have them around the lake throughout the summer. So anybody that is enjoying fishing throughout the summer can use them. And um, hopefully this was a quick little introduction so you guys, when you guys see one of these, you know what they are and how to use one. Good luck fishing.